This is Novet from Lazada, and today I'll be doing an introduction to our AdSense portal. Before we head into our portal, first you'll need to sign in. And how you do it is you will need to input your phone number or email address here, followed by your password. And once you have done that, you will just have to click on to the login tab and you will subsequently be redirected to the dashboard itself. Once you have logged in, this is the dashboard you would see. And on the left hand side will show you all the different functions of the affiliate portal itself. So the first tab, the offer tab here, will allow you to pick and choose the different offers to be promoted on your respective platforms. So when you click onto it, there will be two options, bonus offer as well as generic offer. So bonus offer essentially entails you two different types of commission rate, which is both a base as well as a bonus commission. This is what we we'll recommend for you to start with. Another way you could pick and choose the most suitable deal for yourself is by filtering it using the sorting tool here, either by brand, store or commission rate. So for instance, if I'm interested to only promote items with at least a 10% to 20% commission rate, I would just have to put it into the columns below, click on search, wait for a moment, and it will reflect at the bottom all the deals that are currently offering at least a 10% commission rate onwards. If this is not what you're looking to do, alternatively, you could also consider promoting our bonus offers, optimized landing page, which is already curated and optimized on your behalf. So how do you then um, generate the unique links to actually promote this across your platform? You will just have to click get link. Copy this unique link. Do note that this is my unique link. Um, you will have your own respective unique link as well. Copy that. And once it's copied, you can paste it across any of your platforms such as YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. As for the visuals, if you require any, you can actually retrieve it here. Just click view details and you can see all different types of visuals that's been included here according to their respective categories. Find the correct size, download them. And once you have done that, you can similarly upload onto all the respective platforms as well. Next, we have generic offer. The key difference between generic offer and bonus offer is that generic offer would not entail you a bonus commission. But if you choose to do so, you can use the deep link picker provided here to actually generate your own unique link. Next, we move on to product linking. So similarly, we have two different types of product links. We have bonus product links and product links itself. For bonus product links, it's very similar to bonus offer, but instead of promoting a specific brand or category, you are only promoting one particular product itself. So everything here will entail you a base and bonus commission. So how do you then pick the most relevant offer to be promoted across your platform? You can actually use the sorting tool below here, inputting different fields such as keywords, brand, store, SKU ID, category, price, or commission rate. And once you have filled in all the relevant fields, click search and the results will then show below and you can then pick the most relevant offer for yourself. So for instance, if I have chosen promote, I will just have to click get link. And here you can actually input special parameters to identify traffic sources or any particular parameter that you would like to track. If this is not required, just click submit and you will just need to copy this item link into any of your relevant platforms and you can exit. As for product linking, the key difference here is that product links here will not entail you a bonus commission. But similarly, you can use a sorting tool above to key in keywords, SKU ID, categories, or prices, click on search, and the results will again show at the bottom for you to pick the most relevant offer for yourself. So moving forward, we will have the data feed function that we'll explain. So what is data feed? So data feed is essentially a, a function that you can use to download a series of details. For example, uh, what are the images of the products, the prices of the products, the product names, without having to actually go to the Lazada platform to download them. So how you can do that is by choosing um, you know, the, the items that you require through this portion called create news feed. You can choose uh, from light, medium, or full feed. We'll usually recommend the light feed just so that it doesn't take too long to download and it already consists of 500,000 SKUs. Here is where you can choose what are the types of offers that you like to download. You can look at the respective definitions here in the bubbles. Um, last but not least, you could also choose what categories you would like to promote. Would you want uh, to promote all the categories or just selected categories, which you can customize here. 
So once you have done that, you will just have to export this and then you will get all the required details. Next, we will have the reporting tab. So the reporting tab, uh, which you can see here, is basically used for you to actually understand the kind of behaviours that your customers are actually exhibiting uh, through the platforms that you're promoting on. So what you can do if you would like to view this is to click onto the conversion report here and you'll be then able to see two different types of reporting. You'll be able to see the performance report as well as the conversion report respectively. So the key difference between the two reporting is that performance report gives you a more top line view. So as you can see, it gives you, uh, you know, things like your clicks, your orders, as well as your total payout. So it's more of the broad level uh, data. If you're looking to actually see something more in depth, you can click onto your conversion report in which they will be able to actually show you things like your category, uh, your brand name, as well as what are the items that your customers are actually purchasing on your site or on your platforms. You can even um, track the fulfillment status of the package to see whether it has been delivered. And all of these data can actually be exported and you are able to actually understand your customer behavior a little bit better and also optimize it accordingly. In the next tab for product link reports, you're basically able to see uh, on a SKU level, the things that you have promoted in your product linking, what is the kind of performance it's showing. So here is an overview that shows you uh, key matrices like clicks, visits, orders, as well as payout. Or if you want something a little more, bit more detail, you can actually refer to the performance report as well. So next, we will move on to the payment tab. So as you can see on the left here, when I click onto it, there is two tabs, but the key tab will be the monthly income tab. So here is where you can actually see uh, what are the approved commissions that we have provided to you. Uh, this is also an archive to show uh, all the transactions from the previous months once you have worked with us for a while. You can also actually see what is the invoice status as well as the payment status of your payment as well. So maybe just to give you a context of what is our payment cycle like, so assuming you are an affiliate with us for uh, from the 1st of June to the 30th of June. In the next two weeks, around uh, the 14th of July, you will actually receive an invoice for us showing you what exactly is the approved amount that you'll be getting. You will note that this amount is based on the fulfilled and delivered orders. Any orders that are not fulfilled by that date will be paid only in the second cycle the following month. So assuming you have already uh, put in all your bank account number, your bank statement, uh, there will be no further actions required from you. But if you have not done so, uh, please go ahead uh, and actually include that because that will be very vital for us to actually make the payment for you. Next, we have our account tab. So when you click onto it, there is actually four different sub tabs here. So in our basic info tab, here is where you can fill in any details that you might have missed out when you first registered earlier. Do note that anything with a red asterisk is important, so make sure to fill that out. It's the same process regardless of whether you're a business account or you're an individual account. Next, we have our bank info tab. So this is very important as we will need you to input uh, your bank account details, your bank statement, first to verify and subsequently make payment to you. So do make sure to fill this up as well. Last but not least, we have our tax info tab. So if you require any form of tax exemption, this is where you can deposit uh, all the documents and we will uh, process that accordingly. Moving on to the commission rates. So this is just more of an overview of the different types of commissions that we're offering to you uh, according to the categories. Do note that this will uh, be different uh, depending on the segment that you sit with. Last but not least, we have our integration tab. So within this integration tab, as you can see, there's three different sub tabs again. So depending on what are the needs um, or what are the tools that you want to integrate, you can actually look at the respective tabs to see the steps as well as some instructions. So if, if the information required here is not sufficient, you can then reach out to the relevant uh, person in charge to actually understand how else they can help you. Uh, alternatively, you can just uh, take a look at all the other tabs to see whether this can help.